this one, I just love it. And I just looked at this and I'm like, I would have priced this at $100 just because I'm crazy like that. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items as a reseller that you should be looking for in thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, YouTube auctions. These are items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos come from my featured members. That means they have joined memberships to be a part of this video. If you would like to join membership, there's a join button down below. If you don't see it, there's a link in the description. Anyway, if you want to join, great. If not, no worries. My channel is completely free. Memberships is for this video to be a part of it. All right, you guys. So let's get started with these bolos. All right. So the first item comes from timeless by tiffany and right now she has a buy one get one of equal value half off selected items sale going on so um definitely check her out that's her november sale i don't know what her december sale is going to be but i'm sure she will have it posted but she's got lots of great stuff over in her store looks like she only has six items listed right now well that's weird am i doing something wrong Yes, I'm doing something wrong. Here we go. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lots of stuff. I think I was in the wrong area. Anyway, I don't know. Okay, let's look at her bolos. The first item she sold are these uh, Cornet Barcelona steamless, steamless, stemless wine glasses. Look how beautiful they are. So one tip from another reseller that I saw is they took white paper and they put it on the inside so that you could really see the detail of the glass. So definitely keep that in mind. That probably would have been a good idea for these. These look beautiful, but it's really hard to kind of see the, the beauty. There, that one you can kind of see pretty good. Those are really pretty. Anyway, she got these at the Goodwill for $6 and sold them for $89 plus shipping. And honestly, that is just a tip that I learned from another reseller in a recent video I did, something I wouldn't have thought to have done. So um, let me know if you guys use the white paper and the glass uh, trick. Let me know in the comments if you've used that before or if it's new to you. Fisherman large figurine fly fishing lures handmade one of a kind camp father's day gift. And this is what it looks like. It's an incredible piece right there. She got this at savers for $7 and 99 cents and sold it for 199 plus shipping. This is beautiful. Gone with the wind hurricane lamp. And this is what it looks like. So pretty, so pretty. She got this at a thrift store for $25 and sold it for $257 with free shipping. Ooh, wonder how much it costs to ship. But still, $257. That's great. Nonnies. Nonnies or nonies. I can't remember. Treasure House. Uh, this is her eBay store. And again, it will be linked down in the description. At the top of every store, there is a heart. And if you guys click on that heart, you can follow the stores. And when they have coupons or different things going on when they list new items, you will get a notification. So definitely check them out. She sold this vintage MCM mid-century modern Sears Roebuck Merry Mushroom Soup Terrine set under plate with ladle. And she got this at Salvation Army for $5.95 and sold it for a best offer of $130 plus shipping. These are Mary Engelbright and anything Mary Engelbright's pretty collectible. So if you see that name, definitely look it up. These are cookie jars. Oh, how terrifying to ship. Uh, she got them at a garage sale for 15 and sold them for a best offer of 75 plus shipping. This one right here. Oh, it's so cute. It's a vintage, hard to find HTF Eden Waffle Weave Thermal, Waffle Weave Thermal, Yellow Duck. Chick plush stuffed lovey. And she got this at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for 60. And the reason I was going over all those keywords is because they are all great keywords for a title. 
and the buyer paid shipping on this. So a nice little uh, bolo right there, $60 for that little guy. Gran and grandma, she is a hoot. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. But anyway, definitely go check out her channel. She has, I think she said 18 flea market like booths. Like, you know, when you go into those markets and there's booths, 18 of them. Anyway, she's trying to get on social media more and branch out to more platforms. So definitely sub her up. She's like, I've got these Cracker Barrel Pilgrim couple figurines. And she's like, the wind was blowing the day they were, because <laughs> see how they're kind of tilted. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but I laughed. I cracked up. I'm like, that is so funny. But anyway, because um, I'm like, what's she talking about the wind blowing? And then I looked and they're like kind of leaning. I thought it was funny. Okay. Um, she cracks me up. She has cracked me up on multiple occasions. She's a funny gal. She got these at an estate sale for $5 and sold them for $50 plus shipping. And I know somebody referred to Cracker Barrel items as sleepers. So something to be on the lookout for that most people don't pick up. So this is a Wolf Design two-sided queen size blanket. And that's what the tag looks like. She got this out of a clean out. So it was free to her, just labor. And she sold this for $40 with free shipping. This is a vintage brass prancing trotting horse figurine uh, with the attached base. This uh, state clean out. I was going to say state clean out, but I didn't want to say it before I looked. And she sold this for $29 plus shipping. This one comes from Antiques from Karen Janet, and she does live sales, so selling events. Um, she inherited an estate from her mother and amazing items, and she sells them on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, different places, but she also sells them on her YouTube channel. Her live sales are Wednesday and Sunday, so check her out, and I'll show you here what she sold. Both of these items were from her mother's estate, this is a Fisher Price a flip track rail and road train car. She ended up selling this for a best offer of $136. And I think her mom had a shop. So, I mean, she just had incredible stuff. This is Transformers Beast Wars um, in the original packaging from 1995. She took a best offer of $220 for this and the buyer paid shipping. And that was also from her mother's estate. This is Groundhog Store. And oh, look at the little elves. These are so, I always pick these up. These look to be in great condition. Ooh, a newspaper article. That's interesting. Definitely check out these stores, you guys. They got neat stuff. All right, let's see what she sold. She sold this bird. It is a signed Mitchell Grafton bird, feather art, pottery sculpture, signed and numbered piece. Look at it. Just look at it. Isn't he funny? It's pretty funny, right? He's not so funny when you look at that price he sold for. He sold for $135 and she got it at a rummage sale for $5. Who's laughing now? He's cute. He's cute. And he's a big money bolo. Vintage mid-century modern Gilbert and soft light lamp. Plastic mushroom, right red shade, and it is retro. And it's definitely cool. Very cool. Look at that old vintage plug-in. You guys, I plugged something in the other day, and it smoked and broke. And I'm lucky it didn't shut like... One time I did that, and it. Um, I need to check cords before I plug them in. I'm really bad about that. Number one, I'm glad it didn't like make the power... Where you, it, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it where you have to the circuit breaker. One time I did it and the circuit breaker went out and I had no power. And then this time it sparked at me. I'm lucky there was no fire and I didn't get electrocuted. So be careful with old elect like stuff, old plugs. They're scary stuff. Scary stuff. All right. Uh, high bid ten dollars sold for eighty five dollars plus shipping and most of them are fine. I, I should have checked it. I just I do a bad job of not checking things. So there's a little Bolo Buddies don't do what I do tip. Earl Moran, Girls of 1953, Marilyn Monroe, Calendar Pinup, Hansen Fruit, Yakima Wash. 
calendars. She got this in an ephemeral lot on high bid. It was 10 to $20 for the box. And she sold this for a best offer of 75 plus shipping. Oh, here we go. Bougie. Guji. Gujui. Bougie Gujui. <laughs> I don't know, but she told me that she wanted to give her store like a, a fancy name because something about her kids and not wanting people to know that she gets their clothes at the Goodwill. <laughs> I love it. So it's bougie. Gujui. I don't know. I don't know how to say the second part. But anyway, she's got an awesome store. Lots. You know what? I saw this bear in somebody else's store, too. Isn't that the the bear from um, the bear in the blue house? Is that what it is? The big blue house or something like that? It looks like it. Full circle. Martha's miniatures. Definitely a bolo. She's got a buy one, get one 25% off coupon going on, guys. Check it out. The countdown advent calendars. Lots of cool stuff in her store. Check it out. All right. Let's see what she's got here. These are Lesoik, and I probably said that wrong. Uh, fish, hand painted fish plates. These are the salad plates. She sold these for $45.99. And these are the dinner plates. And she sold these for a best offer of $60. She said she got these at a thrift store, all of them for $7. So seven into what, 105? It's a nice little bolo right there. And there's what it looks like on the back. They're really pretty, right? This is a excellent used condition, EUC. That's what that stands for, if you do not know. Cincy Buddy Blanky Lovey. And I did not know that Cincy Buddy made blankies or loveys like this, but they do. And she got this at the Benz for 40 cents. Or no, I'm sorry. She got it at the Benz and sold it for $40. So it's probably about 40 cents, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Depends on what her per pound uh, price is. This one, I just love it. And I just looked at this and I'm like, I would have priced this at $100 just because I'm crazy like that. But that's just me looking at it, not looking up comps and just thinking it's super cool and realistic. Um, she did use realistic in the title. Definitely do that. I just think this is so cool. 2010, so not super old, but how real does that look? And it's a jackrabbit. I love it. She sold it for $35. Let me know in the comments, what would you have listed the jackrabbit at? Don't look up comps, just on coolness factor. I say a hundred bucks. She got it at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold it for $35 plus shipping. Yard sales and dreams, Danielle, definitely sub her up. She just hit her hours. So congratulations, Danielle, on getting your channel monetized. Now you guys go watch her so she can make some money. Um, Ad revenue. Oh, we won't even talk about that. Some, it, it you got to have a lot of views to make a lot of money. So go watch some of her videos. Help her out there so we can get her um, some money making, some money making over there. All right. I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. Um, she has an awesome channel. You will definitely learn from her. These right here, you got to watch this video. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. All right. She said this was kind of a bad buy. She overpaid for it, but still made a profit. So it's okay. It happens. You know, she paid a hundred dollars for this at a, I believe a garage sale. And was it a garage sale? Why can't I find it? It was a yard sale. Ah, yard sales and dreams. Ah. Okay. hundred dollars at a yard sale and sold it for $180 plus shipping. It's a Vintage Lewis Marks toy super crane truck with original box, untested. The next item is incredible. It's this 1940s, 1950s turquoise mint green celluloid lynx extra long necklace. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a chain to like a swing set. Doesn't it look like a swing set chain? Oh no, it's a necklace. Um, if anybody knows how to know if something is celluloid, let me know in the comments if there's like a test you can do or if it's just something like when you know, you know. I don't know. She got this at an antique shop for $10 and sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. The next item is this three Christmas store catalogs from 1962. And she said what sold this is that the Holt Howard pages on the inside. 
So she really did a good job of displaying, like she could have put this picture, but it may not have sold for as much. What she did is she featured some of the main pages that have the collectibles that people collect. And that's probably what got her the bids. She had 17 bids on these. They sold for $64.51 plus shipping. The next item comes from Vintage Spice. Definitely go and sub her up. She is newer to YouTube and she is doing awesome and she sells incredible items. I love, love, love the things she sells. You guys are going to love her channel. Uh, let's see what she sold. Vintage Marks Yogi Bear Jellystone Park Playset 1960s Alfie the Gators. Vintage Tinykins. Like I said, cool items, right? She gets great money for these things. She uh, sold this for $47, best offer, and she got it at an online auction for four bucks. She got this wagon train metal lunchbox, King Sealy Thermos Western. It does have flaws, TLC 1964. Look how rough it is. Okay, where's the thermos? I want to see the thermos. Does it have the thermos? I thought it said it had the thermos. Maybe not. Thrift store, two bucks. Sold in 24 hours for a best offer of 50 bucks. So condition, I wonder what it would have sold for in mint condition. I'd like to know. Vintage artisan dollhouse miniature painted Santa roly poly Christmas toy shop. And right here, she's got all the little things. And a lot of times with dollhouse miniatures, you will see people put a coin next to it. That's really common practice for these dollhouse miniatures. I'm not a big fan of like the pop cans beside things, but the coin, the coin doesn't bother me. Uh, let's see. She got this at an online auction for $9 and sold it for $48.75 plus shipping. The next item is this South uh, American Steamboat Dining Pass from the 1960s. And she had it listed for $99.99 and she took a best offer. She's like, I don't know if you want to share that one. I only sold it for $35. And I'm like, well, what'd you pay for it? And she's like, pennies. I bought it in a big ephemeral lot. And I'm like, pennies into $35 is fantastic. So what she did is she put it up for auction and somebody made her an offer and she didn't wait to see if somebody would actually bid on it. And she, so she took the 35 bucks. So, um, 35 bucks is 35 bucks, right? That's excellent for a uh, vintage, a dining pass. I thought it was pretty cool and wanted to share it. One stop shop 59. This is her store. Lots of very cool items. Just give you a little peek here at what she's got. And then we're going to see what she sold. She sold this Victorian styled needlepoint woman picture frame, pink, green. And then it's got the measurements here. So this is a finished needlepoint art. You can find pillows that are finished, pictures like this. People will buy them finished. Definitely be on the lookout. She got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $55 plus shipping. And again, that's One Stop Shop 59 eBay store. This here is a Kirk's Folly signed carousel horse, uh, moon and stars, rhinestones brooch. It's a pin. Uh, Kirk's Folly is a good brand. If you see that, definitely look it up. Comps are usually pretty good. She got these at a secondhand store, $2.50 for this, and took a best offer of $32 plus shipping. The Collectible Cafe, they've got lots of high-end, big money bolos, cool stuff, new old stock items. They were collectors, and they're selling off their collection, so you should really go check out their store. It's pretty incredible. All right, they sold this crayon maker from 2011, and they got this at a garage sale for $5 and sold it for $69.99 with free shipping. A crayon maker, how cool is that? This is a, this was a gift and they never um, opened it or used it. So it's still new in the packaging from 2015. And they sold this for full price of $107.95. So it's an action figure. It's a Darth Vader action figure. All right, here we go with this name. Tamarantula's Treasures. So that's uh, Tammy and Tarantula put together. So it's really hard to say. But here is her store. 
lots of fun items. These are the disappearing. Oh, I sell these all the time. Um, I sell them individually and do pretty good with those. Those are decent bread and butter for sure. She's got a good price on those. If anyone's looking for them, that's a good price. She sold this Jelly Cat London uh, turtle, Toodle the Tortoise turtle, gray and pink plush. She got it at the Goodwill bins. And she sold this for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon Toothless uh, Mug. And she got this at the Goodwill Benz also and sold it for $63.99 plus shipping. How cool is that? Definitely would have picked that up. This guy right here is Mindscape Entertainment Creatures Purple Norn Beanie Plush. Six inch. She got this at the Goodwill um, and it was like in a bag of stuff and she sold this for a best offer of $60 and had about $2.99 in it plus um, the buyer paid shipping on that. This is a Thor the Dark World movie figure statue from 2013. It's 18 inches. She uh, got it at a clean out at a garage sale. So she ended up getting it free and selling it for $55. She did say that um, they were wanting to send some money to someone. I, I forget the whole details of the story, but something happened and they wanted some quick cash to help out someone else. So they did take some lower offers on those items. She's like, I didn't wait for the right buyer. She's like, I took the offers so that we could help someone else out. So some of those items that I just showed you could have went for more money if um, she would have waited you know, for the right buyer. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. There is a subscribe button boop, boop, right there. If you could subscribe, if you've never been here before, let me know how you found the channel. Did somebody tell you about it? Did it come up in your YouTube feed? Tell me how you found the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Leave me a hat emoji or just write the word hat in the comments. Thanks for watching. There is a link. Ah, wrong hand. Ah, I can never figure it out. What is on my sleeve? I'm a mess. Anyway.